himself. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this night of action. his target he lands a straight right keeping his hands up getting rid of his opponent's offense the cooler is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Scores with the uppercut. off the hook. Look at that. Finish with the hook. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Locks that belt line well. Move your head. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Good block. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. The cooler's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Last 10 seconds of this first round. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. You're good. You all right? You okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're gonna tighten up your punches, all right? So this round is underway, and what a difference a break. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink, a little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone, and now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep it going. 
Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Halfway through round number two. The coolers just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. That right hand serving him well. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Comes with the right. The cooler's punch is far off the target. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy. He's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. It's okay. Pay him back. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. The cooler's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Not much action as he just ties up. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. The cooler's well off the mark that time. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Teddy, 
mean, what advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Seconds to go in this round. Keep working, bud. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Okay. You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover. You got any more of these? I'll do the one. Hold it. Come on, Josh. Yeah. Okay, okay, relax now. How you feeling in there? Just stay alert in there. The cooler's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See him holding on. He is not in good shape. He Solid. A sharp knifing punch. That back counter here just scored the knockdown. One, two, three, four. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Protecting his head well with his guard. go of it to the body but came up empty able to cover up that gut the cooler's keeping his guard up very very well teddy does it help to have the speed that he has uh, sure anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing it has to be technically right but now you put speed you're doing it even better you're doing it at a higher level off the mark. And he just holds on there. Oh, he's slowing down a bit now here. You know, he's set such a... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Able to get him up against the ropes.
Come end on. of that round, in and the knockdown was Come scored. Now, Teddy, right. the fighter who Fight. was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes right. back, Come or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know Let's your go. fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing Take himself yourself. to get dropped again. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He missed with that headshot. Punch! Punch! You're doing great. seconds to go here in this round. The cooler's got a way of just getting away from that punch. I want to see some combo. He engages in the clinch. The cooler's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Able to dismiss it. He's clinching a lot here, Teddy. Now, do you think that's the best way to deal with the after effects of the knockdown? Yeah, as long as you're not reaching, as long as you're not overextending yourself to grab the guy, because then you could leave yourself open, and then you're gonna, well, you're gonna be on the floor again. Keep working the body. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. I need you to cut this guy off. Start moving your hands. One, two, threes. One, two, threes. All right? Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Blocks that punch. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. The cooler's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. 
Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the cooler. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. That's what I want to see. The cooler's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Hello! Punch! Punch! Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. The cooler's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached. They're up around his chin. His elbow's in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Keep doing what you're doing. That punch just close. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. All right, well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, Good. is it going to be right. fun watching this Three fight down the stretch. Good. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. Good. Keep those hands moving. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. I got one. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. The cooler's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Nice work. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. The cooler's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Halfway through the seventh round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not Just engaging like in the fight, but clinching. More movement. Head movement.
covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Able to dismiss that body shot. Nice! Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round seven. Side to side, lean to the side, then boom! You had in that round, you in control. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? We got it. Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Teddy's scorecard has him trailing by a significant margin here as we start round number eight. Is there any hope that he can get back into this fight? He doesn't look like a guy that can. There's always hope, Joe. I mean, that's what this business is about. It's about finding ways, about overcoming. Right now, he needs to ask himself the question, am I in or am I out? there he returns the favor with a right hand of his own big shot and once again he goes down the question is can he rise up again But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Uppercut! 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. The cooler's defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. Just missed scoring with that punch. Oh, and there you go. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Relax. Teddy, I'm looking at him right now. He looks completely gassed. Is there anything that can be done to boost his energy back up? Yeah, what you got to do is you got to tell him in the corner, listen, you think you're dead now, you think you're tired now, you're going to have a chance to rest later. But you're not going to have a chance to fix your future. You're not going to have a chance to undo what you're letting be done now. And a smart left hand. Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so, 
here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. fight is over the coolers in prime form power surge here knockout winner That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit, because he knew this was possible, and they got it. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.